Welcome to St Michael's. The present building dates to the end of the 15th century, built with money left in the will of Sir Edmund Shaw. Born in Duckingfield, he rose to fame and fortune in London, before becoming Lord Mayor. It was he who in 1483 offered the crown to the Duke of Gloucester, who thus became King Richard III. People have been worshipping here for over 800 years, each generation in its own way. The font is the oldest item of furniture in the church. It's a Norman barrel font, hewn out of a single block of stone, probably dating back to the 12th century. The village war memorial was placed here in 1921, funded by public subscription. The location of the memorial here in church makes this the venue for the annual remembrance service of Mottram Village. Another service is held in Broadbottom Village at their war memorial by the station. Also here is a plaque commemorating Nicola Hughes and Fiona Bone, the two police officers who were murdered nearby in 2012. The Staveley Chapel was originally owned by the de Staveley family who were lords of the manor in the 15th century. The two stone effigies here are Sir Ralph de Staveley, known as Sir Roe, and his wife Elizabeth. Ralph was a retainer for John of Gaunt, Duke of Lancaster, and fought against the French at the Battle of Agincourt in 1415. Sir Roe and Lady Elizabeth are subjects of a local legend, a romantic story set in the Crusades. All of the furniture and the screens in the chancel and the two chapels dates back to the middle of the 19th century. The canopied seats here and elsewhere in the church were originally from the Staveley Chapel and only put here in 1930. The choir stalls were introduced in 1885, after much argument about the obstruction caused by their size. The Hollingworth Chapel is now used as a choir vestry and meeting room. It was once the private chapel of the Hollingworth family. This is Reginald Bretland a member of that family who lived at Thorncliffe Hall in Hollingworth. Their coat of arms can be seen in the window. 
The church has many visitors from America and Australia who are members of various branches of the Hollingworth family. Our Sunday morning crash is held in here. For almost a hundred years, from 1895, the old pipe organ took most of the space in the Hollingworth Chapel. However, in 1998 it was found to be too expensive to repair and was removed. Looking back, you can see some of the pipes from the old organ. Behind these dummy pipes are hidden a set of very large loudspeakers for the new making electronic organ, played for the new console over there in the South Isle. At the end of this aisle are the bread racks, dating back to the 17th and 18th centuries. On the shelves were placed loaves of bread, baked especially for distribution to the poor of the parish. These were originally situated near the main door of the church. The benefactors board at the back of church records the names of people who donated towards this work. The money was invested long ago but is still available, the interest amounting to about £600 a year. This is administered by Mottram Parish Charities, which gives grants to needy people in the area and to other local organisations working to support those who have fallen on hard times. The nave roof was raised to its present height in the Great Restoration of 1855. During the Restoration, the whole of the nave, from the tower behind you to the chancel arch ahead, was demolished. The stone columns were replaced and the walls built up higher to make room for a new clear story with the fine reproduction Gothic windows that we see here today. At the top of the tower wall you can see the line of the original roof in the stonework. So this is a fine Victorian space in the middle of a medieval building, a fact that we have to bear in mind whenever we're thinking about any changes we would like to make at St Michael's. <laughs>